Yeah. Woo, saved my ass there, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Skews the vernacular, folks. Uh, anyway, so back to slide one then. Microcurrent uh, therapy for the eye. And we're basically, this is an explanation. As I said, it's deliberately blurred or grayed sort of brownie mud because some people are seeing like that so don't adjust your set as it were it's not you <laughs> uh, but in the webinar we're going to be talking about eyes obviously and eye disease and how they degrade especially degrading with ages with age and there's many variants of that you know macular degeneration cataracts glaucoma tends to get worse as you get older the list goes on and on but you know there's no point in just sharing bad news we're going to tell you how to fix them hooray <laughs> and we're going to tell you about particular devices very clever devices and there's going to be a very special offer at the end that's i can't say it's an offer you can't refuse you've got the choice uh, but it's going to be great and well worth staying to the end when we explain to you what's on the table okay off we go as i said most people i think would know me uh i'm british trained and i've been at this game for many years i'm in my fourth decade now of being a doctor uh, i've written many books but my special book medicine beyond is really quite stunning with the amount of really off the edge of the map uh, science not woo woo i do not do woo woo i do science but there's a stunning amount of science out there that doctors and scientists just want to ignore you know they say well it can't be true therefore it isn't that's their silly snotty attitude and of course it's it's nonsense uh, so if you want to, you know, get the book, you'll find all sorts of revelations in there, of which the power and magic of microcurrent therapy are included. Okay, so here's my special guest, Rob, of the famous Haché family. <laughs> he's not actually the son of John Haché, but he's the son of John Haché's wife. And John and uh, Rob, you're now pretty well running the business, yeah? I mean, you've got stronger and stronger. And you've got all these, look at all these labels and degrees and certificates and diplomas. Talk us through a few of these, would you? <laughs> yeah, sure. So I've been, I've been working hard to try and catch up with uh, my mom and with uh, John, actually, uh, with all of their qualifications. Uh, but I've been uh, working pretty hard for the last three, four years um, as we rebranded our business as Pain Free for Life. Um, and still working with John and my mom as well uh, to just really advance the, the process of working on getting people pain free and kind of bringing microcurrent to the forefront. Um, as you said, no woo woo, just science. Um, and microcurrent really fits into that uh, kind of bracket there. Um, I got my bachelor's in holistic health sciences in 2019, and I finished my PhD and my doctorate in natural medicine last year. Um, and I, I focused my whole studies as much as I was allowed to on microcurrent, on vagus nerve stimulation, on all of that stuff that we do to kind of resolve inflammation within the body. Um, so yeah, lo lots to keep going with though. I got a lot <laughs> of years left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't probably got as many as you, <laughs> but still, it's no, it's nice to have you there because you're very clear, very easy to understand. And your explanations are good. So I like having you as a colleague on these uh, these webinars. Now, <clears throat> like I said, we're focusing on eye health. This is a bit unusual. We are narrowing the target right down. It's almost like doing a webinar on back pain. So, you know, if you've got pain in the leg, mm -hmm. we're not interested. We're doing back pain. Today. <laughs> so it's a bit like that. We're going to concentrate very clearly on eye health. And uh, there's a lot to it. So let's get going. As it says, eye health is it's one of those things that you you take for granted until you lose it. You know, we often think, well, you know, I'm healthy, I'm well. And you see these poor people walking around with walking sticks or on crutches. Oh, poor guys. But you think, you know, you believe, oh, that's never going to happen to me <laughs> till it does. <laughs> and then it becomes a very uncomfortable issue, of course. And it's the same with eyesight. We just, you know, when we're young, we can see things vividly. We can read a book at 50 paces. We can see a car number plate at 500 feet we can read it <clears throat> now uh, i'm at the stage of well some of us i'm at the stage of saying what number plate what license plate some <laughs> people are, some people are like what car <laughs> 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 
it gets worse. <laughs> Uh, but we know that it's an age-related thing mainly. There are many things that can go wrong. Trauma, obviously, you can have an injury of the eye. That's that, you know, you go, you lose the sight of one or both eyes instantly. But as the years go by, they tend to degenerate together. Usually one's worse than the other. And I'm afraid it's on the horizon, folks. The truth is that over 75% of us are going to suffer from some eye issues. I know uh, Rob's going to tell us about his in a minute, but I can tell you my uh, aha moment. <laughs> uh, when my first wife left, I was in the basement cleaning up and I found a pair of uh, half moon glasses, you know, the kind of, in fact, the French word for those glasses is lunette, or the French word for any reading glasses is lunettes, little moons. Anyway, I thought, well, he's a curious. I put them on and went, ah! <laughs> I suddenly realized I couldn't see, but now I have the glasses and I could see. Now, <laughs> don't ask me how I got by without being able to see well and not notice. But honest to God, I didn't. I mean, obviously, it could have been short range stress so that they were all right a few weeks before. But the terrible stress of someone suddenly upping and offing in your ecosystem was pretty, pretty stressful, to say the least. Uh, OK, so tell us about your experience. Oh. Pretty, pretty horrific, Rob. Uh, anyway, yeah. it's made a convert of you, hasn't it? It has. It definitely has. Like it was something again, like I could see people having these issues with eyes, but I didn't really think too much of it. And uh, I was I was just about to do a presentation and I was just reading all these books on the shelf, you know, looking at the different book titles on the spines. And suddenly it just went kind of black. And I ended up not being able to see for around 12 hours. I went, you know, what do we do? We go to the eye doctor when something happens. Right. So I called I went straight there. I got driven there. And yeah, they, it went away over time. They told me it was an ocular migraine. They did all these tests. They couldn't find anything else wrong with it. But since that point for me, that was my aha moment that I really have to take care of my eyes because I'm, you know, if I'm having problems now, what's going to happen <laughs> down the line um, when these things like this lack of circulation really comes to the forefront. Uh, so microcurrent for eyes, taking the right vitamins. This is all being a part of my daily health regimen since that day. Yeah, good. Okay, people are still piling on the call. Let me repeat my sort of message, as it were. Uh, somebody's raised their hand, for example. We're not going to take questions and interruptions. We just like to flow with the webinar. Uh, and so we'll take all questions and all chats and all comments and remarks at the end, if you please. We don't want to stop the flow of it. And as I keep saying, we may well answer your exact question during the presentation, in which case it's a waste of everybody's time to divert with your particular question. Okay, so it's, I'm not being unkind, I'm being sensible and uh, it will get dealt with, but if you're impatient, that's where you might find a slight problem. Please don't be impatient, just wait. And, and I'm not saying don't give us the questions, you know, you can go into the chat, type your question in the box or Q&A if you want to do it that, that way, type it in your Q&A box. Okay, so, and anyone has come on and is trying to desperately get in touch, I've got no sound, I've got no vision, I've got to tell you, almost everybody else has, well over 100 people, uh, are all okay, so it's your equipment, if there's something wrong, try and figure out what it is. Okay, back to the webinar, off we go, Rob. Uh, let's, you talk us through this, right? Uh, I mean, it's, it's simplified, the, the diagram looks a bit scary. But it's really yeah. something that I wrote about in Medicine Beyond, which is all life is really about electrical potential. You know, it isn't about reproduction and, you know, sensation, things like that. It's either there is an electrical potential or there isn't. I mean, the difference between me and a corpse is I have electrical potential at the cell walls of my cells, so they work. And the corpse don't do much because that electrical potential is gone. So if you... Elaborate on that for us, Rob, please. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, in order to do things like to regenerate, to function, cells need to reach their electrical potential. And the basic of the basic part of this is that cells that fail to get enough energy to trigger this electrical potential, and it's kind of all on the complicated looking diagram there, but cells that fail to do that will eventually give up functioning. They will try a few times, but it's kind of like 
trying to start a car and the engine just won't turn over, you know, it's just doing that. Eventually they give up. And so what we end up seeing is that healthy cells will depolarize and then repolarize. So they'll fire off, recover, and then be ready for next time. And this is the green line that we see on the chart here. That is what we want our cells to do. But tired, tired cells are going to fail to reach this action potential. And eventually, not only will this contribute immediately to degeneration, but it's also going to cause a failure in the cell's function and they can eventually die. And dead cells can lead to disease and what we call channelopathies in the body. Yeah. And uh, notice the little red arrow is pointing to the threshold line. The green line shoots above that. It's all, all good, working and active. But the orange line is like, didn't, you know, just didn't make it. <laughs> so yes. you don't get the result that your cell is there for. So, okay, talk, talk us some more. Sure. Um, so, yeah, the, the rods and cones, which are parts of our eyes, and the retina um, and the mula cells, they're all these key components of the eye and they rely on a combination of action potential from the electricity and circulation because the circulation is helping to deliver oxygen and nutrients to our eyes that keep them healthy so this is another thing here if these things are not present then degeneration is further setting in within the eye and this is when people start to develop these eye diseases and, you know, the interesting point is that as people get, uh, as people age, um, we get all these age related, you know, inevitable things that are going to happen to us. And a lot of that comes down to reprioritization of circulation. And so when circulation is apparent and, and high and normal, degeneration has a much harder time setting in because the cells are able to keep functioning. So it all kind of like falls into place. The eyes relate very similarly to the rest of the body in that way. Right. No, that was well said, actually, that last comment. You know, they say you, you know, look into the eyes and you can see the person's soul. Well, you can certainly see their arterial and blood system. <laughs> you know, if, if, if your eyes are not getting nourished, neither is the rest of your body. That's when, you know, heart disease sets in and Alzheimer's and those other things become possible is because there's not enough nutrient and oxygen getting to the eye and therefore the cells don't fire off as Rob was just saying. Okay, well, this is, I think, that, I don't know what's missing here, the word choroid on the left. I, I, I only got the slides this afternoon, folks. But anyway, the three layers, choroid at the bottom, that's blood vessels. And then above that is the retina and eye tissues like the sclera and conjunctiva and these rods and cones, which actually detect light. So the choroid layer is just sort of the food supply, really. And if your arteries are not working good and the food supply is not good, your eyes are going to suffer. And of course, they are very sensitive, aren't they, Rob? It's not, you know, yeah. if you don't have such a good blood supply to your left elbow, well, OK, that's potentially a problem. But, you know, it's much worse in the eyes because everything starts to go blurry. And uh, um, uh, I can't think of the word. Uh, when the, the cornea goes opaque, come on. Help me out. I've got a touch, uh, touch of early Alzheimer's here, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, cataract. <laughs> cataract is really a nutritional disease of the eye, too. It's not being repaired and cleared as it should be. So uh, all sorts of things can go wrong when the blood supply is not at critical level. Uh, cataracts, age-related, macular degeneration, and other things like that. <clears throat> okay, so, you know, Rob built some of these slides. you got a, some real pretty images here. Rob, yeah. I think these are good, yeah? Yeah, some gorgeous images, absolutely. There's, uh, you know, looking at pictures of the eyes for health, that can be quite challenging. You get a lot of kind of gnarly pictures, so <laughs> 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 trying to find some, uh, some nice ones for the slides to not put people off. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the building blocks of the eye, you know, there's there's nutrition that goes into this too, just like it does for our whole body, right? You, you, you talk about this a lot, Keith, like nutrition can be so key to our health and it's the same for eyes. So everything that we have ever talked about on eye talks, 
um, is about nutrition for the eye as well. Because while microcurrent is an essential eye tool and it can stabilize and even reverse most eye conditions, what it doesn't do is create nutrients for you. Microcurrent can only do its magic if you have the right building blocks in place. And, you know, this is not even like medical science talks about these, these particular supplements. And they're like a few of just the key things that you need. We see once you combine these supplements with the microcurrent, that's when we start to see things reverse rapidly because you need to feed the eye. Right. Now, what are these nutrients then? Let's take a look. I love that graphic on the right, by the way. <laughs> that's very clever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's great. Right. Yeah. yeah. The nutrients, there, there are three key nutrients that are, that are like a core to eye health. And uh, these are lutein and zeaxanthin. And they're written on the screen. I hate the spelling of zeaxanthin. It all throws people off. These are, uh, carotenoids, I believe, that are the Carotenoids, yeah, the there's hundreds of carotenoids. But these two are very critical for the eye. And you find the lutein, the green one, you find in green leaves and veg. But uh, zeas, well, sorry, uh, lutein is yellow and zeaxanthin is green yellow. But lutein is particularly found in eggs and egg yolks. So the reason we've got so much crappy age-related macular degeneration is they're still telling people, you mustn't eat eggs, they're full of cholesterol, they'll kill you. They're the most wonderful nutrient substance on it. Hey, what do you know about eggs? It takes a little tiny blob and it will grow it into a chicken. There's that much nutrient inside the eggshell. Come on, it's a wonderful nutrient substance. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> well, and I think that's it. I think people don't get enough of it from their food. Um, it's something that you really should start supplementing. And I'm not selling supplements here. We don't offer these on our website, but it's something, you know, well worth adding in. Um, L-taurine or taurine is an amino acid as well. And in our experience, sometimes a lot of these supplements have lutein, they have zeaxanthin, you can get a combo of those. But without acid to activate the other nutrients in the eye, you do not get the same effect. So this is often, because I'll talk to so many people with eye health concerns and they're like, oh yeah, I already take lutein, I already take zeaxanthin, but they don't take taurine. And this is something that they really do need to start adding in if they want to keep all these things functioning optimally. And of right. course, this is just a piece of the puzzle, because if we have all of these nutrients, it's useless if we don't have a way to get them to our eyes. Yeah, and that's where microcurrent comes in, folks. Just joining the dots for you. Microcurrent therapy is wonderful at stimulating blood supply, fresh blood vessels, new blood supply, and getting those nutrients nutrients where they're needed on the job. All right. So this has a bit of a history, doesn't it? This is kind of hairy, scary almost, but this is what they used to do. And you know what they used to do? Sometimes with a lot of these things that are out there, it's still the way it's done. You get a wet towel, you put it across your eyes, you clamp onto the wet towel and you deliver current to the eyes. Um, you need the moisture to break through in these older technologies that are still used today. But yeah, as early as the 1990s, uh, microcurrent therapy has been used to treat the eye. And I definitely think that we have evolved the treatment very well since then. Yes. <laughs> doesn't rely on moisture <laughs> for <No>. a start. <laughs> so it works in two ways. And explain a bit, Rob, you know, it's, it's generating the energy and power with ATP and taking away the sludge and the crap. Those are the two absolutely crucial ways in which uh, microcurrent therapy is going to help us. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, there's not too much more to that. But yeah, as we've already covered, the cells in our bodies are powered by ATP. And as we age, ATP declines. Um, and then microcurrent stimulation is stimulating this ATP production by, as we explained earlier, initiating that action potential and helping the cells reach it. And then blood flow is being increased as well. And this increased blood flow is enabling the removal of waste. So, you know, break it down that top line of the slide there. Healthy eyes need adequate ATP and they need removal of waste. Yeah. Okay. So, well, we're going to talk about, well, I'm using the word goggles, but anyway, it's a, a device for bringing these, you know, helpful frequencies, microcurrent to your eyes. Can do all kinds of stuff. There was a long list, Rob. You see, I've changed it into a 
I mean, just a, a long list it. in <laughs> tiny writing. It wasn't readable. But it's, please take them, you know, one at a time, like it was a list, because th these are important. Yeah. There's a whole yeah. lot of stuff here on this list. Yeah, sure. So one of the things, um, the initial things is scar tissue. A lot of the time people will look, or ophthalmologists will look at your eyes and say, look, there's some scarring there. There's nothing that we can do about it. That's, that's permanent damage. We know that microcurrent can reverse scars. We know we can, we can reverse scar tissue. We can turn it back into normal tissue. We can break it up. So this is always kind of point one. If you've ever had an eye injury or you've got even optic nerve damage, we're looking at scar tissue therapy. Um, it, need, it actually got hit in the eye though, need it? I mean, you know, you can have too much bright sunlight, mm -hmm. too long at the computers that can harm the cells and the result is, is a kind of scar tissue. Anyway, it doesn't mean you've, you know, been stabbed in the eye with a knife or anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, eye fatigue, you know, that's something that I think most of us feel when you get these tired eyes. Um, that can be a sign as well of lack of circulation that you can fix with microcurrent eye, eye spasms. Um, this is when you get your little twitching in the eyes. And though we recommend, you know, magnesium for that as well, if that doesn't fix it, microcurrent can help to relax those, those muscles that are causing the spasms to occur. Um, conditions like myopia, um, amblyopia, astigmatism, all these conditions that people are told you're getting corrected via glasses. Um, you don't need to deal with that. Presbyopia is one of those as well. Uh, one of the biggest ones is AMD or, or age-related macular degeneration. And this can be, though we'll discuss this a little bit later um, in, the, in the presentation, for wet and dry macular degeneration. Um, cataracts, we have great success preventing cataract surgery with microcurrent as well. Um, glaucoma, especially acute glaucoma is the easiest to, to manage. Um, hemorrhage in the eye, conjunctivitis, um, uh, even retinal detachment is stuff that we've seen success with before. Really, if there is an eye condition out there, there's probably something that this can do to help. There's one you mentioned, uh, and I, I think it's my fault, Rob, I missed it off the list, retinal detachment, but a related, that's pretty drastic, a related phenomenon is floaters. You know, it seems mm. like bits have got loose in the eye and they're floating around, little black things that wander across your, your field of vision. Have you had success with those two floaters? We, we have. And, you know, interestingly enough, it's a combination of the goggles and actually also treating the liver with the microcurrent. So you do a bit of a double whammy. Um, on there for floaters, but yes. Oh, liver too. See how holistic medicine, you know, integrates all the, what eye surgeon knows anything about the liver and what the liver does. <laughs> the liver, where's that? Oh, it's in the abdomen, I remember. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of specialization that medicine's getting to, isn't it? It's, mm -hmm. it's horrendous. Uh, anyway, you can see these things look really comfortable. They're easily adjustable. And they bring the, well, let's call it the microcurrent, but it's not just electricity, folks. I mean, it's micro anyway, there's very little current, but it's loaded with information as we're going to be discussing. And that's actually the key aspect of what microcurrent therapy is about. It's not trying to zap things like you do with TENS or PEMF. It's trying to change things and alter the dynamic setup using information which is contained in the, in the currents. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I stepped in again, but <laughs> but these look great. I can't wait for my pair. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're they've been notoriously hard to get, as you'll recall from our other presentations. Um, yeah. You know, we, everyone always asks about them when we don't have them. I do have a pair here, which is going to be hard to see, but I just wanted to kind of show the the inside of them because I didn't have a good picture of that. But right. you get all these little metal electrodes here. Um, one even rests on your eyelid. You close your eyes. And you just feel this tingle. Um, it's really, it's not uncomfortable. I know, as you said, it can be a little scary. People like electricity in general, let alone the eyes. But it's stimulating so many key points around the eyes that it is, it's really enhancing circulation and bringing that in. And there are soft kind of um, rubber. So they're, they're very, they're not uncomfortable at all. It's not hard plastic. And you can put pressure on them to form them to your eyes as well. Yeah. Wonderful. 
they yeah they look as you said technology has come on a long way they they are very comfortable now let's let's dive into a little bit of the technicals we don't want to dazzle everyone so no. go slow and carefully but there are different frequencies that have different effects aren't they so talk us talk us through these rob yeah so we've been developing these protocols over the years and and i will say just now like we have we've tried other options beyond the goggles and we just don't get the same results we've tried um the scaler we've tried pems it just doesn't doesn't do the same thing um so we turn to specific frequencies for different conditions um in the eye and, and we guide you through exactly which ones you need to pick um but some of the key ones that we're using here um, so 7 to 12 hertz is your kind of alpha brainwave state. It is a natural healing frequency when you're in your rest and digest mode. It's what we use for vagus nerve stimulation as well. This is great for when you don't really know what to do um, or when you just need gentle eye stimulation. This is, this is the way to go. It, it will help repair and relax muscles, which play a role in astigmatism and myopia but it's also excellent for quick and gentle circulation enhancement. So if you are sensitive or you're, you're quite up in the elderly category, you might prefer the gentle circulation to some of the more intense programs, which just work quicker. So we, we make these best recommendations based on people's individual uh, situations. Right. Now, um, a lot of people are going to recognize, well, they, they may not recognize self, 7 to 12 hertz, but if we point out these, are, that's Schumann frequencies there, uh, everyone, I think, will think, oh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. they're notoriously famous, healthy, healing, wonderful Schumann waves. So there you go. That's that basic. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Um, the next one will be 77 hertz. So this is the frequency that neutralizes scar tissue. And this is, this is, being, being used by us for over 30 years now, and it just works. Um, scar tissue in the eye and the optic nerves can be huge contributors to that reduced ATP and electrical potential. And so this is an essential frequency for eye health. Um, there's, you know, there's some more on the next slide as well, I believe. Yep. Okay, so continuing that, you know, sometimes we have inflammation of the eye of the optic nerve uh, we've had a lot of people who have had inflammatory conditions and then have gone in and had an eye test and they've been looking, you know, for that inflammation and they can't find it anymore. Uh, 121 hertz works really well for this. Any frequency over 100 hertz works well for inflammation, but this is a good one to get delivery deep into the eyes and to reach the optic nerve as well. Again, still just feels like a tingle. Don't panic when I say deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the no, well, in one. fact, the person adjusts it. So, you know, if you mm -hmm. if you, if too much tingle, turn it down a bit. We, we like you to feel the tingle because you know it's working. There's something Absolutely. happening and that's all, all we want it for. We don't want it to hurt. It's not true. No, no like nasty medicine is the, the one that does you good. That's a myth from childhood. If it tastes <laughs> horrible, it must be doing you good. It's not true that you've got to hurt to get the result with microphone. Absolutely. Therapy. And in fact, <laughs> I get asked this question a lot. This is just a good point to cover. People like, well, if I can push it harder and just bear through it, is it going to work better? No, no, it's not. Keep it comfortable. It doesn't need, it's not more pain, more gain. Um, you, you, in fact, will, by creating more discomfort for yourself, you're probably going to put yourself in fight or flight and create more inflammation. So yeah. take that advice, keep it comfortable. Yeah. Um, the next frequency would be 32 to 45 hertz. This, and, and notice these gaps here. These are programs that run between one and another frequency. It's not like frequency specific microcurrent. It's, it's consistently changing and moving and adapting to your body's needs. We yep. use this one for macular degeneration. So this is probably one of the most common and important programs for these common eye conditions. Macular degeneration is the number one reason people come to us um, looking for eye treatments. The uh, next imagine, one, yeah. yeah, it's very, it's extremely common. Uh, the next one that comes up is FM RSI, and you see I got a slash there, so it's FM RSI or Vaso. Now, th this depends on which device you're using. They're both used for optimum circulation, so really getting the circulation going. Um, but Vaso is better; it's just not in the the home model device. So FM RSI works really well as well, but Vaso is optimized, but you know, circulation is key. We've been going through this today. 
it is one of the things you're going to be using when you're treating the eye. Okay, so we've got a choice of two units. Just let's have a quick explanation of the difference. The pinnacle, I know, is the pinnacle of this family of devices. I've got to keep drinking, folks. I explained before we came on air. It's hot as hell here. It's actually 25 degrees hotter here than it is in Las Vegas out in the oh. desert <laughs> today. Uh, France is under a, an emergency red alert. Nine tenths of the shops are closed. They just said, you know, it's too hot. We can't work. Shut the door and go home. It's really quite severe. And even though I'm, you know, relatively cool here, I'm pouring sweat and drinking like crazy. So <laughs> off you go, Rob. You take it over for a minute. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, as you said, the pinnacle is the is the pinnacle of our microcurrent devices. Um, and you know, one important point is that we've been able to work with these to exclusively create. Um, what we saw a need for. So some of these devices like the Evolution, they fill a gap that was there in the microcurrent market between top of the line professional and affordable, accessible home use devices. Maybe for we should I just say a minute, Rob, about, uh, you know, who, who, who are the here? They, they sure. um, as I understand it, they were originally the Texas Instrument guys, weren't they? Smarty Pants Electronic mm -hmm. Wizards. Yeah. And they pr created some devices, but uh, uh, John Hache particularly, and you and your mom, have evolved some, some better, better versions of the equipment, shall we say, that are proprietary. Yeah? I mean, the pinnacle. That's right. I know That's you told right. me the pinnacle, the staff at uh, Vatsia taking it home and putting it on their devices, even though it only rightly belongs on yours. They're pinching it because it's so good. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, they used to build, uh, well, Tim Smith, the, who founded Avazia, used to build um, chips for cruise missiles. And uh, he decided, you know, he was done building things for war and he wanted to start doing something to help people. But they're, Avazia, great people, great engineers, but they're engineers. They are not medical people. Some of their devices they've built are, they're, how can I say, they're one trick ponies. They, they have maybe four modes in them that do all four modes do the same thing uh, medically. So they just don't make sense to me. We've, we, every mode in our devices has been curated to make sure there is a purpose being served by that mode. And when it came to the evolution, it was, well, we got eight slots. Let's pick the eight most common programs that are going to allow us to do the most without someone having to buy that uh that that pinnacle and um, if you look at the range of frequencies therefore you see the ones that rob was just talking about 7 mm -hmm. to 12 32 to 45 77 121 fmr sites all there in that uh, let's call it the home device as well as being in the the amazing professional top tool that has everything that's right <laughs> yeah so functionally with either of these devices we can actually treat all but the most severe of eye conditions. The pinnacle just gives you like a higher range, nerve regeneration, you know, muscle regeneration um, that is just so focused and works really well. And, you know, one thing, I, th I think we maybe have a slide on the pinnacle, but the, the learning curve of the pinnacle is almost non-existent just because we have created automatic treatment modes that will you set the device and it will treat you and tell you when it's done. And that is the, it's a bit about as easy as it can get. <laughs> the device will do the work for you. Right. But there's still 50 odd algorithms, or more, more than 60 algorithms now. You've added yeah. about 12, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, yeah. Oh, there's 65 and then it's fully programmable for a total of about 70. Wow. Um, there's nothing like that device anywhere on earth. Uh, everyone's trying to catch up and trying to figure out what Avatsia is doing that's so great. Well, it isn't what Avatsia is doing that's so great. It's what the Hashes and Rob are doing, f developing for and with Avatsia. Let's, all right, that's boasting, but let's have it straight, shall we, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so easy to use. So walk us through the steps. There, yeah. There's two slides yeah. here. Yeah, so um, with the goggles, essentially, the way we've developed these devices is they are the control unit that generates the microcurrent. Like this is a handheld device. It's battery operated. You know, two AA batteries works anywhere in the world. 
you you plug in the goggles to the side and you place the goggles usually on your forehead if you're self treating and then you set the modes because you need to be able to see which mode you're going to go to you pull it down over your eyes and you just adjust the power and you can feel it um, and you really want each um, of the electrodes to be touching the eyelid or away from it not your open eye i did have someone once that tried to keep their eyes open and put the metal right on that it's just not recommended um, it's probably not comfortable so close your eyes pull the goggles down and just hold that plus button down on your device until you feel that slight tingle um, and just because of the way the circuits work, you can often feel the electricity in one eye more than the other. And that's totally normal. It's still circulating back and forth um, between those two goggles. Right. <clears throat> um, yeah, so then you, you run the device for the allotted amount of time in the treatment, right? So the most common recommended time is three minutes. So it's three minutes a day. Um, that is not a huge amount of time to uh, start to heal your eye. Um, we do, for some conditions, recommend starting at three and building up to 10 or 15, but we don't go beyond that time. Um, and I recommend people just time this on their phone, set a timer before you start treatment or count in your head. But I was fine. I go off track and start thinking about other things. So I need that timer <laughs> to go <laughs> off. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, reducing your power. We mentioned this earlier. If the intensity gets too much, you're like, oh, it's starting to raise, lower the power a little bit. This is good. This is your tissue lowering its resistance and accepting the electricity. So you just know you don't need as much anymore because the tissue has accepted that now and you can lower it down as you go. Wow. Simple, but amazing. <clears throat> so any reason why we shouldn't, anything for which we shouldn't use such a device? Well, the one you've put in the slideshow is important is wet macular degeneration. Talk, talk us through that. And like, we've got to say, it's not an absolute barrier anyway, is it? You could do it. No, it's but, not. It's, it's something that, um, it's something that we've always kind of been warned against, you know, when John was doing the research, he was like, Oh, maybe this is going to be too much. So it is a precaution, wet macular degeneration. And this is because a heavy increase in circulation is not ideal for wet macula. What will potentially happen is you might, you've got all these weak blood vessels. And if you increase the pressure to them, are they going to go pop? And you're going to get these little tiny blood spots in your eyes. Um, now, this is not something we've ever actually seen at all. And in fact, I don't know if I can say this. I'll say a, an Avasia employee um, or potential owner um, has used these for wet macula with no problem whatsoever. But we've seen improvement um, from doing wet macula treatments. Our precaution here is that you take grapeseed extract as a supplement for two weeks, because this will actually help to strengthen the blood vessels in your eye. Then you start the microcurrent treatment. That way, we've not had any problems doing that at all. And I will say as well, we've not had any problems in general with yeah. this it's just a theoretical precaution it's almost impossible to hurt anybody with microcurrent mm -hmm. therapy the, the yeah. current the voltage is so low <laughs> yeah yeah exactly exactly and, and and what about implants you know some people have like uh, retinal implants and things like that there's this old microcurrent myth that if we treat implants they're going to pop out of the body i like to as it's a russian ghost story we've got that uh, the truth is that we've not seen this occur in eyes at all. And each year, tons of new clients are taking up this treatment. Many of them have had lens implants and, and more, and there's been no adverse side effects with this. Microcurrent stimulation of the eyes is heavily practiced in Europe as well, specifically in Germany. It's very big there. No side effects. They have no problems with macula or implants. So it's just, again, it's a precaution, but we like to throw it out there because we like to listen to our ghost stories. <laughs> yeah, even Russian ghost stories. <laughs> even Russian ones. <clears throat> well, uh, we've already said this, but, you know, let's say it again. We're going to come on to some pricing for these devices, folks. Uh, they're not cheap, but when you consider the quality of what it will do and a lifetime of ownership or even you know, reckoned over 10 years, it's absurdly inexpensive, actually. And you can treat yourself as often as you like 
for free once you've got and we should say this i don't know if we've got a slide that covers this rob but you know it's not just eyes that's what we're doing tonight mm -hmm. but with one of these you'll be able to do sore throats arthritis pelvic floor benign prostatic hypertrophy uh scars as you were saying headache i mean all kinds of things mm -hmm. can be resolved with these devices anyway but these are the two. So just again, I mean, shall we do it from me? I'll make sure I've got it right. The evolution is the home model. It's simpler and has fewer modes and of course, therefore costs a lot less. And the pinnacle is brilliant. It does everything. It's the professional model. If you are, uh, you know, a Cairo or an ND or an osteopath or an MD, this is the one you'd want because you could use it to treat patients and you get amazing results and you find that word will get around and people will be at your door knocking. And that's happened to a lot of practitioners, hasn't it, Rob? People yep. find them out and say, I've heard you got this device. I want a treatment. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're constantly looking for new practitioners and to send people to because daily requests for people all over the world looking yep. for someone to treat them. Yeah. OK, so uh, we'll talk about the, ah. the the evolution is the, the basic, the home model that works on mm -hmm. most eye conditions, you can see. Uh, walk us through the the capabilities then rob please yeah so just like we just said there you know these you're getting a machine that is generally used for working on the rest of the body and then you're using the machine to also work on the eyes so you get kind of like double benefit here uh, so it does it works on most eye conditions uh, this one the, the evolution is great it has the ability to resolve pain uh, in combination through vagus nerve stimulation and biofeedback uh, it can improve sleep, it can reduce stress, it's got programs in it that we use for mental health issues, um, even including like potential dementia um, with gamma waves, there's been a lot of research on that, but depression, anxiety, uh, you can stimulate meridian points, acupuncture points if you're into doing that, um, muscle re-education, so repairing uh, damaged muscles uh, from injury, clearing scar tissue, even enhancing the immune system. There's a lot to this device. I, I'm sure there's way more than I've listed there. Uh, the again, being able to custom build this device to include the programs we knew we needed has opened a lot of doors because we built these devices around our protocols instead of the other way around. Yeah, I, I mean, one that we should add here is, is sports injuries and wound healing. These yeah. are these are very important, aren't they? Absolutely. In fact, there isn't much it won't do, but there are some things it won't do. So we will need the pinnacle. That's right. So it, so, does all the, it does all the previous, but has other things as well. That's right. Yeah, it does all the previous stuff. Uh, it has other things too. One of the things that's most exciting is the screen that allows us to evaluate tissue. So by just putting the device on the skin in, in some of the diagnostic modes, you'll get readings that will tell you whether there's inflammation, degeneration, normal tissue. So you can take someone's injured wrist, for example, and you can check their hand, their arms, you can find the source of that injury. It's probably not where it hurts. It's not, it, you know, <laughs> seems to be more often than not pain is referred, but this can help you find out where that referred pain is coming from and just kind of nip it in the bud and resolve it. Uh, but then it also includes automatic treatment modes as well, as I said. This is what's so unique about the Pinnacle compared to um, other Avasia devices um, is that we have automatic modes in there that have been designed with the idea of pain, uh, you know, nerve damage, whatever it may be, you set the automatic mode, you place it on the skin, and the device is actually going to change programs seamlessly. So you won't even feel the difference in the current, but it's going to change programs to enhance circulation, reduce inflammation, trigger regeneration, all for that specific injury type. And then it'll even tell you when it's done. So it's nice and simple. Um, you know, otherwise, as I said, it can do everything else that the, uh, that the evolution can do just with more. Yeah, now folks, you'll see why I've started nicknaming this device, well, the, the pinnacle particularly, a hospital in your hand. <laughs> it does almost, yep. almost everything except set a broken bone in plaster. It'll halve or one third the time of healing a broken bone, but it won't do the plaster cast for you, but it does everything nope. else. <laughs> right. So we're going to talk about owning one of these. And of course, you know, this will be a lot of new stuff to 
for folks. So one of the important parts of this is that anyone that wants to get one of these is going to be offered a free membership to people to understanding and learning. I'm, I'm waffling, Rob, you take over. But you know, the, you, you know this, I mean, you, you are now practically running this private membership of learning protocols, all the videos and the weekly meetings and the monthly meetings. Tell us about it. Yeah, so it's all <laughs> All of this is part of this manifestation of this dream that that people can be independent and become healers, and we can give you a device. Um, it would be, but it would be like giving you a car and you don't know how to drive if we don't teach you how to use it. So we have we've got this uh, this training library of I've, over two hundred videos. We've got unlimited one on one support as well so and this is something i'm so proud of because it, it was a bit of an experiment a few years ago but it's worked so well was to hire and train a team of people who's who are already healthcare professionals but whose goal is to help people resolve their pain and have them be coaches for people guiding them through building private treatment plans so totally helping to eliminate the learning curve because you don't need to read all the books and watch all the videos to learn how to do something if someone just tells you the steps to do. So here's so, five so steps. Somebody sprain their ankle, you can pick up the phone, talk to a treatment coordinator and say, what do I do for a sprained ankle? And you get the skinny right then and there. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. read the whole thing or watch all 200 videos to learn that, that one technique if that's the one that you want. Absolutely. And I think that you know, people have that problem in the moment, right? Like in the moment, even if you are super smart and super focused, when you're in pain, you just want to get rid of your pain. You don't want to listen to Dr. Rob drone on for an hour just to find how to treat yourself. So this has been, this has been great. Uh, a private Facebook group for those people who use Facebook. Uh, I know some people don't. Uh, that that's just there as a community for people to talk about their successes, to ask advice. And I love that we have such a diverse community of different practitioners as well. So you get a lot of input um, as to exercises, like supplements that people have used, other treatments they've tried. Uh, so you get a kind of diverse uh, si uh, situation to use there. Um, now, it says they're weekly live crash courses. That's a little bit of a misnomer now. Um, they're every two weeks. Uh, but there are in-depth training videos that I do that lectures people can show up to and interact with me live <laughs> on topics people want. And then um, when we, when John is around, because he's he's on a mini uh, sabbatical right now, um, he comes on with me and we do a, mi a monthly live Q&A as well. So once a month, we sit there for an hour together and we just answer all the questions people can throw at us. So that's part of this comprehensive membership. And usually we charge quite a lot of money for this, but for people who are looking to adopt this um, technology here on the webinar, we'll be offering that for free. For free, folks. What a hell of for a free. bonus. Must be worth two grand at least. <laughs> yep, that sounds about um, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, you said the library of it was to over two. In fact, isn't it now over 250? Yeah, it's over 250 videos. Um, there are five to 10 minutes aside from my lectures, which are recorded in there as well. And it's just this idea of you, it's even got a search bar. So you just pop in and you set, you type in Parkinson's and up will pop a Parkinson's protocol video. You watch it for five or 10 minutes and you know what you're, what you're getting started on doing. Right. Brilliant. I mean, what a mine of information, an absolute gold mine folks. Oh, this is yeah, the coordinator support idea. They're not all as good looking as her, but there are people out there who know what they're doing and know what to say. <laughs> and can and will help you. And that's doesn't matter which of the devices the person gets. Yeah, I mean, if they've got eye trouble, that's fine. That's why they're here. Yep. But we're emphasizing it does all these other things too. You know, you can fix a sprained ankle, uh, a broken femur, all, all kinds of things. <clears throat> but you just have to know what to do. So it's great yep. to know that there's professional training and help in the background and all part of that amazing free membership offer uh what do you want to say about this slide uh, yeah this is just the facebook group here um you know again i'm just emphasizing the fact that we have such a diverse community of different practitioners um who are all alternative minded i must say which is great we we don't allow people in that are going to put everyone else down um so we get a lot of different opinions and uh that it, I just love seeing the diverse responses. Um, of course, we contribute to that as well. We'll answer your microcurrent questions. 
uh, but it's nice to just sort of see plans coming together for people um, on the spot. Right. Your mum and stepdad look right, look very good in that. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> Great <laughs> folks, wonderful, dear friends for over twenty years. I uh, love them. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what, 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 tell us about this. <clears throat> yeah, so this is those live crash courses. Um, you know, I, these are usually on topics as well that I wouldn't publicly teach about. Um, I did one on on treatment of cancer. Um, I did one on um, latent viruses, you know, things that are just, you know, not, they're off-label treatments. Um, and I put together these big lectures where I talk for 45 minutes to an hour and people follow along with me. Um, and they ask me questions on the spot. And so if, and it's all done from this kind of base level too. Like I try to do it as if everyone is new, everyone just, you know, is going to get that base support. I tell you to do vagus nerve stimulation and I pause the video, I pull out my device and I do that protocol so people can follow along as they go. Uh, it's a really good way of learning. Um, and it's great to be able to be asked the questions that I, I tend to miss in some of the videos and answer them on the spot. Just things I consider common knowledge that, you know, people want a little bit more info on. Right. Now, you know, I guess there are going to be some people watching that don't want to set up as practitioners, but it's wonderful to know you have this power and capability. And it's also a family thing. You know, it's not just you and it will only work for you if you're a busy, big family. Uh, any and all members of the family can you know, use your device and get to learn how to use it. So even if you don't see yourself quite using it to treat others, somebody might, you know, they might think, oh, this is great. I'm going to, the neighbor's got a bad knee. I'm going to go and see if I can fix that. And that's the beauty of this. I think, you know, when people fix their own issues, they go and they help some other people too, as you say, neighbors, friends, uh, extended family. And it's, it's like almost for every person we help, we end up helping 10 to 20 more because yeah. once you're fi fixed and feeling better, you want to share that with other people. Yeah, of course you do. Okay. So, um, we're going to do a, a Q and a ourselves. This means Q and a sessions in the, the membership area. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And I've already covered that a little bit. Yeah. John and I will get together, Dr. John, and, uh, we'll sit here in this room and we'll answer everyone's questions as they go. Right. That's great. It's great to know. All right. So this is what is available. First of all, people want to buy this. So there's a good deal on the goggles. We're going to knock like a hundred, not was it 99 bucks off that? About 99 uh, bucks off. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got two, two sort of standards of kit, which you can talk us through. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. it's, it's a person's choice, but first of all, explain the kit. There's, there's a lot of stuff on offer here, isn't it? Not just a bag, but I can see probes, mm -hmm. wire brush kind of thing, leads. Is those, are those electric socks for the, yep. for the pinnacle model and electric gloves that can, can work on your hands? Yeah. yeah so yeah. tell us what's what. Talk us, the goggles are straightforward. People are here for eye troubles. Yep. You need some goggles, so we've made that a little bit easier. Absolutely. Uh, sophisticated devices, but that's, listen, that's nothing if it saves your eyesight. So the, the two different kits here are our deluxe kit versions. And with both of these, we're giving away the, the lifetime membership access. So that's, you know, no payments ever. We get unlimited support, all the stuff we just talked about with either of these device kits. The uh, kits come in the little pouch there and they come with the device. Uh, but obviously the key difference, you see all these different probes. And I mentioned that a lot of this is, is plugging something in to adapt the therapy. So you get these different tools. The, the Y probe there um, is one of the most popular tools. It's the long handled one with the, the two balls on the end. Uh, that gives you extended reach. Uh, there's pencil electrode for acupuncture points and for cosmetic treatments. There are uh, pads for different areas of the body. There's ear clips for brain therapy. And, and that's in the evolution kit there. The pinnacle kit has, I think, pretty much every accessory barring the goggles that we, uh, we uh, sell on our, on our website. The gloves and the socks are threaded with silver, so they are conductive. Um, they go on, people use those for um, actually a protocol we call mitochondrial recharge. So you're boosting your energy levels across the body um, and that can be done with any device. Uh, uh, you have a therapy or a protocol called uh, socks and mittens. 
it used to be called that anyway years ago are you still using that term yeah that one that that one i don't think we use the term anymore but i know exactly what you mean as far as the protocol and yeah it, that's another protocol that uh john now i think we call grounding and that can be done with both devices too that involves the schumann resonances um it really yeah. like you know most of these probes these tools you in the pinnacle kit you get a tongue stimulator which lets you treat your mouth um so if you've got dental problems you can treat that um tongue stimulation is amazing for um, traumatic brain injuries uh, there's so many different tools but the tools are just adding flexibility to the core device and those are all included in the kits and then as you said keith the goggles are available um they're 20 percent off so yeah it's about a hundred dollars off um, and I've got here special offers available until Sunday, 26th of June. <coughs> yes. Uh, there's but, also... So you've got a I, little time, but you haven't got so much time if you want the goggles, because th we've had a lot of trouble sourcing these, or, uh, you know, Rob, Rob's team have. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when they're gone, they're gone. It's going to be another three or four months to get them in again, I'm That's guessing. Right. So, you know, it's decision time, folks. You need the goggles uh, and the price is fair. So either you can afford the full on kit, the professional kit, that's 5,000, but take that over 10 years. What's 500 years, 10 bucks a week uh, for having a miracle. You know, this, this is all you need in the medicine cupboard. You can do away with all the pills, the antibiotics, all the other baloney. Just have an Avatia device. It can heal almost anything. If cost is an issue or you don't want to be challenged with doing too much, you don't see yourself as a practitioner, maybe consider the, the evolution that's only 1995 plus shipping. And both, both of these, it says save 1990. That means the, the free membership, yeah. you know, that would be 2000 minimum. I think you could get away with 5000 for that. It's a lifetime membership. <laughs> But anyway, call it to, you know, people have to pay a substantial amount of money to buy it. But you offered it tonight for free for the next two or three days. Well, it's not two or three days. It's tomorrow, tomorrow night, isn't it? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A week. A week tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> OK, so. What I'm going to do. Oh, so what do you do? Where oh, it, it's here at the top. Right. So to go and order one, if you're ready to do that, we're going to be doing Q&A and questions in a minute. You go to that web, that URL at the top, the shop.com forward slash KSM. That's me. And it's got to be uppercase KSM. It doesn't matter in the Sana shop whether you use those capitals or not, or all lowercase, it doesn't matter. But after the slash, it does matter. So it's uppercase K S M. And we're going to leave that link uh, on the screen so that uh, if people get their questions answered and they said, right, I've, it's perfect. I'm, I'm into this. I'm going to buy one. The link will be there on the screen for you. Okay. <clears throat> so there we go. The shop.com forward slash K S M. All right. Now, what I'm going to do then is stop the recording and then restart it so that people who don't want to watch through the Q&A have got a very good webinar there, extremely informative, I thought, Rob, very good.